I think the entrance to a great museum has to be appropriate. I am Pei Bui Yutmeng. The primary designer of the Louvre Pyramid was born in Guangzhou, China in 1917. At the age of 16, he set off his career as an architect by studying architecture in the United States. He received a bachelor's degree in architecture from Massachusetts Institute of Technology six years after in 1940. After that, he got married with another college student, Elin Liu, whom he met in the late 30s, and thus he was introduced to Harvard's Graduate School of Design. He enrolled in 1942 and graduated in 1946 with a master's degree. He joined the National Defense Research Committee for three years. After he served for three years, he left to finish his master's. He taught at Harvard for two years after receiving his master's. I am Pei created many remarkable designs such as the Bank of China in Hong Kong, Hancock Place in Boston, Johnson Museum of Art in New York, John F. Kennedy Presidential Library and Museum in Boston, and of course the famous Le Grand Louvre in Paris. He designed the entrance in 1985 through 1989. There are four pyramids in total, one larger one surrounded by three smaller ones. The largest pyramid serves as the entrance to the Louvre. The French president, Mitterrand, called for its construction in 1984. The Louvre Pyramid, or in French, Pyramide. is constructed of glass and metal. The pyramid was very controversial because of its modern style which clashed with the traditional style of the building, bringing out great criticism from critics around the world. The pyramid was intentionally modern. Mineron believed the modern structure would help the Louvre fit into modern Paris. He chose glass for the pyramid's construction to allow light to flood the underground gallery. The pyramid is made up of 603 diamond-shaped and 70 triangular-shaped glass panes. The shapes of the panes not only modernize the building, but also make it feel elegant. The triangles in the pyramid are also played on in the triangular-shaped fountains. The modern glass allows one to see through it, revealing the classical architecture behind. One amazing thing about the pyramid is its colors matches the rest of the structure, day or night. During the day from a distance, the pyramid takes on a grayish stone color, while at night the pyramid glows an iridescent gold with the original palace. The pyramid allowed the classical structure to remain intact by preventing a new addition to the front of the facade. The modern fountains which were added helped towards the goal of modernizing the building.